Anybody? Well, I, I don't have the talent of a Krish Srikant or a Sandeep Patil. But I can tell you, Srikant, if he didn't play cricket, he would have definitely been an actor or a comedian. <laughs> he had the talent. And he happened to be my roommate on the tour. So you can imagine poor me. <laughs> well, to be honest, we, we needed a person like Srikant in the team because he took away all the pressures of the game when people were tense, we were nervous at times, and Srikant would fall over a kid bag, throw a cigarette into a kid bag, and he would create havoc in the dressing room. And that's what we needed. We needed someone to break that tension and pressure in those big games of ours. Well, I, I can only say, looking back at the World Cup, I have two, two memories which always come to mind. The first was how, how we kicked off our, uh, we started to play good cricket. And the second one was our captain's 175. I, I'll speak first on the uh, Manchester game. Before we got there, in fact, before we got the Manchester game, we were playing trash, rubbish. We had, we played three practice matches. In all three practice games, we lost. We lost to uh, the New Zealand team. We lost to the Sri Lankan team in the practice game. They, that were the World Cup teams. And we finally played a weak team. We played the minor counties, and we lost that game too. So we didn't have the brightest starts in the World Cup. We were all down. We were all, we were not enjoying the tour so far. And uh, we landed up in Manchester. And uh, in Manchester again, we, we spoke about our team meetings. And, then, and once we got on the cricket pitch in Manchester and we started the game, suddenly something clicked in the, in the team. Everybody, everybody started to show a different attitude. You know, we, had, we didn't have very good fielders in the, in the team at that point in time. I mean, there were some who were poor fielders. But even they, I mean, they put a fantastic effort. I mean, they would throw themselves around, and that sort of lifted the whole team, the whole team spirit lifted. And that, that's what actually got us going, the first game. That, that really... After such a bad start, things started to move from that first game in Manchester. And going to the second, second one was uh, when we reached uh, Tunbridge Wells. We, had, uh, we were playing Zimbabwe in the second game. We beat them in the first game. So a little bit of uh, overconfidence with the team. And um, before we had our coffee, we were 17 for five. Five wickets down. And I, I was the sixth batsman inside, so the captain was already in. And at that point of time, you're so tense, you're so nervous, you don't know what, what to do. You don't know what to think of. Your mind is clouded up. And uh, I, as I stole on, I met a couple. He came halfway to meet me, and he had a chat. He says, we've got 53 overs to go. Because that time, we used to play 60 over games. So 53 overs to go. Let us just play a few balls. Let us take singles, ones and twos, no boundaries. So we took the score up to 77. Then I got out. Six, six, the sixth wicket fell. Till then, couple didn't hit any boundaries. Then Madan came inside. Madan had a strong together partnership with Kapil, and then he put on another 70 runs, and Madan got out. Still, Kapil was still hadn't taken off. He was still playing his ones and twos, like he told me. Then, Kirmani came along. They put on a 100-run partnership. 90% 90, 90 of the runs were scored by Kapil Dev. If you see the scorecard, Couple Dave, 175. The next batsman was 24. So that was the dominance of his uh, batting. <laughs> and it, it was in the last, probably the last 78 overs that you saw a couple hit some of the biggest sixes we saw in the World Cup. I mean, they were going outside the stadium from some hits of his. And uh, I think that's another, that's another game. If we had lost that game, India would not have been in the World Cup uh, playoffs. But I think Kapil's knock was tremendous. That, that's what really made the World Cup for us. Thank you.